Hey friends, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, my name's Garrett. I'm Melissa. And we are known as the Leffersons, and today we're doing something we haven't done in a hot minute. We got ourselves some mystery pin boxes. And if you're like, Garrett, Alyssa, what the heck are mystery pin boxes? Well, they are boxes in which there are pins and we don't know what's in them. There is lounge fly mystery pins. There's Disney mystery pins. There's all sorts of mystery These pins. are technically Disney lounge fly mystery pins. Disney licensed. Yeah, that kind of stuff. But the lounge fly ones only come with one pin inside. Whereas like if you pick up the mystery boxes from the parks, they come with two pins inside. But we are going to be opening up three different series of pins today. Mm -hmm. One of them is the racers from Wreck-It Ralph. I guess one and two. Um, <laughs> we opened a we opened a couple of these already. Well, we've opened one. We opened, we opened one of these. One of those, okay. and we got the little snow cone looking yes. girl, and she was adorable. <laughs> and then the other one that we are going to be opening is this inside out Ooh, one. I'm, I'm of excited. course, we love inside out, so I think this mm -hmm. is the one I'm most excited for. And then the last set we're going to do is this little like Peter Pan set. And, and we do have toodles, I think, so far I think from so, this yeah. one. So we're just going to kind of get in here. If this, if this is your first time joining us, welcome to us. <laughs> and this is a pin unboxing. We don't know what we're getting. We're going to dive right in. We may get all the same pins. We may not. Some people go. We're not going to. Guys, oh, no. just start giving us all the good juju. Mm -hmm. Cross your fingers mm -hmm. for us. I could use a cheer up today. I just feel like... I'm a teacher and it's May. So as we open up the pins, we are gonna put them on our handy dandy blank <laughs> pin board to kind of keep you in the know of what we're opening. So Alyssa, ladies first. All right. You may go ahead. So which one, so tell us the series and uh, then we'll go from there. So I'm just, I had already in my hand this Peter Pan series. So they're like different signs. It's a little hard to see, but you have the mermaid, Tinkerbell, Toodles, the TikTok Crocodile, Captain Hook, and and uh, Peter Pan is the Chase. So Chase means what? If you're new to pins, what is it? What's a chaser? Chase usually they look a little bit different than the others. Sometimes they're harder to find. Okay. Yeah. So it's like you you chase. <laughs> it's them. like the completer pin. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I we don't really collect. Peter Pan pins. Yeah. So I'm okay with any of them except for Toodles because we already have Toodles. We don't need Toodles again. So oh, let's see what I get. Oh, this is cute. It's a little Tinkerbell and she is like super tiny. You can almost not see her on there. And the sign says Pixie Hollow, which is perfect. That's where the pixies live. Yeah. In a hollow. That's adorable. And then this is what the back looks like, in case if you're wondering. These are Disney licensed pins, so you can like trade them online or in the Disney parks. We do get a lot of questions about yeah. that. And if you trade online, some people only trade lounge fly for lounge fly. Some people don't. In the parks, they don't care. No. Just, just trade. <laughs> as long as it's Disney licensed, they'll take it. And even <laughs> then, they don't care. Um, I'm going to do another one from the Peter Pan set. Oh, all right. And uh, just because I was, again, the first one that I uh, that I grabbed off of my lap o <laughs> pins. And let's see what we have in this one. I can't get my big old fingers in there. Oh, hey, there we go. Oh, so another tank. We're running into our first <laughs> double, and of course, it is Miss Tinkerbell. Doing great. Pixie so far. Hollow. Yeah, we're doing. We're, we're on fire. Doing great so far. I feel like we just need to continue with these. Yeah. We might have what one or two more boxes Something of these. Something like that. Yeah. So any of them except for Tinker Toodles. Toodles. Tinker Toodles. I don't Toodle. really like Peter Pan. I feel like that's you kind of have to like, have him because I feel like that would make pulls the set sense. together. Oh, this one's cute. This is the Mermaid Lagoon. Is that what it says? She's adorable. Yeah. And it we says Merla Mermaid Lagoon, and look at her. She's just like mm. mermaiding. She's posing. She's adorable. I don't think any of the mermaids have a name from Peter Pan. I don't um, know. Do they? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, so I, I went ahead and opened up another one down here where you can't see. It's a mystery what happens, <laughs> but like right here and below. But here we go. Oh, that's a nice one. We are on to uh, Mr. Hook, and it says Skull Rock. And the details in his face and his colors are super strong. I feel like I'm not a big villains fan, but that's mm. probably my favorite pin out of the set so far. It's a lot bigger too than the others. Does any can anybody help me understand what is Hook's origin story? I know, like, do they explain it inside of that they TV show? They talk about it in Once Upon a Time, which no. I stopped watching. I need to get back into that. I really it, liked it. It kind of jumped the shark. It like just kept going on and on and on and on. 
I don't know. You guys should comment down below if you've seen all of Once Upon a Time. Like, should I like go for it again? I was really into it for a while. Here is a recap of our Peter Pan pins that we opened up. We got our Tinkerbell to Pixie Hollow, a mermaid to the Mermaid Lagoon. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> and then uh, the good old hook to Skull Rock with an extra Tinkerbell down there. I think Tinkerbell will be a good trader. On to the next pin from the lap. I mean, I really want to open the inside out ones, but I feel like I we gotta save the best for last because those yeah. are the ones that we really want. We're going to move on to the racers from uh, not Candy Crush. I've been playing a lot. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Candy Crush lately. That's like how I, I decompress. <laughs> I love it. Um, but from Candy Wreck Race. Ralph. Yeah, from Wreck-It Ralph. But the video game is Candy Rush. Is Candy it? Rush. Candy Rush. Sugar Rush. Sugar, Sugar Rush. Rush. Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush. Oh, guys. Woo! Struggle bus. Oh my goodness, this is such a large bag. All right, let's see. Oh, no! Okay, so this is our first double of this. We did not open the first one on camera, but we now have two of these. Actually, we should probably mention, we opened some of these boxes when Loungefly sent us a box of Disney pins. Yep. If you're interested in looking at that video or checking it out, I'll leave it linked down below. And up above and, up and all around. And <laughs> so we've already opened this one, but I do think she's cute and I really like her like slushy cone head. I don't know if that's what it's called. Shaved ice? Shaved ice. That's Slushy the word. cone. That's the word. All right. Mine is Taffeta. Oh. And so she has a little strawberry on her head, and she looks angsty and just not happy about anything. Oh, but she's cute, though. She I really is like cute. the coloring on her. I like her eyes. She's very bright, and the colors look really good. She looks like a piece of candy. Show them the back of that one, because that one oh, looks okay. a little bit different. It's just some of... Some of the lounge fly pins have like the gold backing, some have silver, they're all a little different. It's all what the base metal is. Yeah. Um, so all the accents that show through are silver in this pin. Oh, I whereas kinda like that one. On the other ones, they are gold. I found another one. This There's is the two more. pin ultimate <laughs> pin box. All right, let's see what we get. I really like Vanellope. That'd be cool. Because I don't know the other one's name. She's a chase, <laughs> so chances of getting her are slim. Okay. Let's see. That's what they say, at least. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, this is a different one. Don't know her name, but she's cute, too. I really like the colors of all of these and the details in their face. Their skin is kinda, really good. Their skin is kind of a yellow tone. It's like they have jaundice. But, like, isn't that how they are in the movie? I don't know. Aren't they, like, weird colors? I thought their face was, like, white, like nougat or something like that. Because they're, like, candy. I don't know. She's cute, though. What is she, a cherry? Uh, yeah, maybe. Is that a cherry? Orange? Grape? Pomegranate? <laughs> no one knows. I, I don't know their name, so I can't even say, like, I want that one. I want Vanellope because that's the I mean, only one I know. <laughs> I'd be okay with a, with a Vanellope because she makes sense in this entire world. <laughs> and without her, we get the other one. Then we so, get all the other one. <laughs> this one has, like, a candle? It like a cupcake? Oh, no, she does no. look like a cupcake. Is, is her name, like... Cupcake Carrie or something. I don't know. She does but look like a cupcake, though, because she's got the frosting and the candle on top. On top and her mint green eyes. She looks like an Andy's mint. I'm not going to lie, though. I really like the quality of those pens. Oh, yeah. Like, compared to the the uh, Peter Pan ones, I feel like the quality is a lot better. All right, so that concludes our Sugar Rush Racers. That's yes. what it's called. <laughs> we got these. I don't know their names, but uh, there we go. But again, we saved the best for last. Because I really want all of these. It's the Inside Out characters. So if you're not sure or familiar with the Inside Out characters, which if you're not, you should, you should totally go watch, go watch Inside Out because it's such a good movie. It's so cute. Uh, but we have joy, we have sadness, disgust, fear, anger, and the chase is Bing, Bing Bong, Bong, which I feel like we totally need Bing Bong. That's like one of Garrett's favorite Disney yeah, characters. I, I need Bing He's Bong. He's on a huge Bing Bong kick. But I will want to, I do want to mention that we do already have anger Ooh, from okay. this set. Because I have gotten one of these boxes in a Bibbidi box. Hey. And I got go. anger from that. Or maybe you did. I don't know. One of us did. We have Somebody. anger. Somebody. We might also have sadness. I don't know. She we looks all, familiar. Don't we all have sadness? <laughs> At times, yes. Okay. <laughs> all right. So who are you going to get? I, I don't know. I'm just going to open it. Yeah, go for I, it. I don't. I'm, I, uh oh. Oh. Yes. So just like Alyssa predicted, we have some sadness and i love how she is just laying flat on the ground with her memory just laying there and i love sadness because the relationship of joy and sadness it really 
you can't have one without the other. You can't yeah. have light without dark. You can't have joy without having sadness. And, and that's like the like moral of the entire can story. Relate. Like yeah. everyone can relate to sadness. Really, everyone can relate to all of the emotions, which is why they're emotions. Amazing. <laughs> but. I do also want I do also want to point out that I feel like I have that pin just because like every sadness pin we have she's like laid down yeah and she's <laughs> in just that like... same position that's a smaller one okay so let's see who else we get let's see who we get this one feels really small I think this one's probably it might be anger honestly I bet it's, uh, it's really fear. small skinny oh actually it's skinny yeah mm -hmm. it is it's fear these pins they're are on very the tiny slight side i guess you could say yeah they're really small it's like hard to see but let me just do a little comparison next size to comparison. the like look at the size yeah, difference i wish we had like a wow like a quarter so we wow. can show you how big this is we have quarters in our paradise falls I but that's too much out. work <laughs> I do like them though. I think they're gonna look really cute all next to each other if mm -hmm. we can complete the set. So, uh, so far, three for three if we're including anger. Okay, here we go. Off the rip, I'm not even gonna try. I maybe, Joy, I don't know. I'm just calling it out. Yeah. <gasps> wow, you got it. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just rolling with it. So here is Joy with her memory there. It is yellow. And what I love about um, the imagery inside of Inside Out is all of the, there's very clear colors. And so when you look at a memory, you know what fueled it. Was it fear? Was it anger? Was it joy, which is yellow? She's cute. Yes. I also love, love her little foot pop. Um, pop in her foot. Joy and <laughs> sadness is one of our favorite meet and greets. Well, it was pre-COVID. R.I.P. And, uh, it was always one of our favorites. If it ever comes back, they meet in Epcot, and it's always a great time because sadness is always super sad, and Joy is very happy, obviously. They play very good character roles. We got two more. We have two more. Okay, so we still need Disgust mm -hmm. and Bing Bong. Bing Bong. We still need Bing Bong. Oh, I don't, think I, I, I don't think we're going to get Bing Bong. I'm I mean, nervous. let's just, like, let's just... This one is definitely not Bing Bong. I can tell, because Bing Bong is... A lot bigger than the others. I sent us in. Let's see. Oh no. We got another sadness. Your, your lack of faith. We got another faith. sadness. Oh, she's so sad that we got another one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what Alyssa's like gonna look like after we finish the filming this. She'll just lay on, the laid floor. on the floor. <laughs> All oh, right. Really big bong. Here comes our last and one. And the really big bong. It's anger. It is. Yeah. Because it's really tiny. I can already tell. No, my bad. Oh. It's disgust. Yay. I felt a flat head. Oh. So here is this itty bitty disgust and she just looks disgusted. I love the pattern on her dress. <laughs> And I love, I just love it. I, I'm a sucker for a good A-line dress. Don't, you know, <laughs> come at me. But she is just saying, ugh, to everything right now. <laughs> I feel now. like her little uh, ball's a little off colored. Like, is it supposed to be a true green? It should or probably be like more a... green. Yeah. But maybe it's disgust mixed with a little bit of sadness. Yeah, that's true. It could be. Very Who well knows? could be. Oh my goodness. So we could complete the set if we find you a bing bong. We could, yes. So here is an update of all of the pins that we got from the Inside Out collection. Um, all that we're really missing is bing pong. We have anger. I guess I should have taken it out so you guys could see. He's very small. He's even smaller than yeah. those. He's like very short. If you have bing bong from this collection and you need some of these from this collection. Or honestly, like probably any of them. Or any of these. <laughs> Alyssa, how would they get a hold of us and uh, set up a tradey trade? Well, they you. can reach out to us on Instagram. All right, and all right. I will try to get back to you very soon. And our Instagram <laughs> is the Leffersons. Yes, yes. And we also have a Facebook group as well. That's always yeah. linked down below. Yeah. You should definitely go hang out with us there. Yeah. But like I said, I feel like we really, our biggest collection out of all of this is Inside Out. So like we need Bing Bong. Yeah. I'll like, trade any of the above for yeah, Bing Bong. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the Inside Out ones. Yeah. That we don't, that we already have. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. 
I it was it was it felt good to do a pin unboxing. Agreed. Agreed. They, they they they're fun for us. We don't know what's coming, and they're fun for y'all as well. I like reading the comments when people are like, "Oh man, I was so excited for you." And I was like, "I just love how you can live vicariously through us opening pins," and yeah. it blows my mind. We're approaching fifteen thousand subscribers. Excuse oh me. Oh my goodness. Blows my mind. We're so <gasps> thankful for all of you, and thank you for coming out. If you like what we do here, and this is your first time joining us, make sure you hit that subscribe button also hit that bell icon and then you'll never miss another video and yeah hit that thumbs up too that that um that helps comment down below what is your favorite movie out of the three pin boxes that we opened today peter, peter pan, pan wreck it ralph or inside out they're all like very different so i'm interested to know what's your favorite what's our favorite and why what's our favorite my oh ugh, inside out Obviously, definitely inside out. Yeah. I think Wreck-It Ralph is cute. I just never really got into it. Mm. And Peter Pan is not like my favorite Disney classic. No. I feel like that's got to be in like a Disney classic category. And it's Agreed. just not my favorite. Agreed. Inside Out is an amazing Pixar movie. I like Wreck-It Ralph because we watched it with the kids at school. And so I kind of have fond memories of that as well. You guys will have to comment down below and let us know which one is yes. your favorite out of those three. But other than that. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you real soon. Bye guys. See you later. I missed. I missed. I was like, ah! <laughs>